In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to give you an overview of the improvements and additions to PowerDirector version 20 that's just been released. What can you expect with the new program? One of the things you'll see is you can download videos and photos from Getty Images. Again, this is for subscribers only. Another thing in the new program is now you can transform videos by replacing the sky with an AI sky replacement tool. That will be interesting to see. Another one that I really like is you can apply masks now on title templates, particles, objects, and shapes. That's very promising. Another feature that's in the new version is you can spice up your videos with motion graphic pip objects now. We've seen that with titles, now they've applied it to pip objects. Also, you can edit and produce videos in the 21 by 9 ultra-wide aspect ratio if those are the kind that you like to produce from time to time. Another feature is you can output videos also on a smaller scale, the Instagram 4x5 aspect ratio. Among improvements and enhancements, you can also now make original looking titles using gradient fills and borders. This is good if you like very special looking titles. Another one that you can do is you can now add up to three borders on your title text. So if you want to make your titles less boring, we have some new tools available in this new version. Another change is you can create shapes and callouts using one of the 21 new shape types. You can also now remove low frequency wind noise in audio video clips automatically with a wind removal tool. That's a very difficult task. It'll be interesting to see how well they accomplish that in the new version. Another feature is you can use SmartFit for duration to audio remix audio for your projects to fit a specific duration. That will be interesting to see how they implement that. You can also improve the dialogue in your video and audio by using a speech enhancement tool. I'll be interested to see what that does. Another one is you can use the audio auto object selection to automatically select primary objects and images in the brush mask designer. That should speed it up. You can also streamline the pip and particle effect editing with a particle designer express mode. Another feature is you can now select any color on your computer screen with the new color picker. That probably should have been in several versions ago. It's very common in any kind of editing software with images. You can also add effects and templates you use most to a favorites marker for quicker access. So that should speed up some of the things you need. Another thing I like is enhanced timeline and clip markers for more precise editing. Now they appear in more places than they did before. More screens use the same marker. You can also use gradient color boards for more dynamic backgrounds in your videos. We actually have one of those on the screen right now. You can also create media library folders for better media management. These are referred to as bins in the world of NLE editors. And now you have bins available in PowerDirector 20 or 365. So what's the cost? If you own Ultra, the cheapest permanent version, you can't upgrade. The price is $99.99 to buy a brand new version of PowerDirector 20 Ultra. And that's your only option for that. If you own PowerDirector 18 or 19 Ultimate, however, you can upgrade to 20 Ultimate for $89.99 US. That's a big savings from $139.99, which you would pay if you didn't own a version of the product. 365 subscribers, very simple. All the enhancements are available through the application manager. All you have to do is upgrade your subscription model and you're doing fine. New users have basically three options. You can buy the cheapest permanent version, which is Ultra. If you buy PowerDirector 20 Ultra Lifetime, it's $99.99 US, or you can buy the ultimate version at $139.99 US, or your third option is you can subscribe 
and this price will vary according to any sale depending on whether you're working with PowerDirector or PowerDirector Suite. In the weeks to come, we'll be providing tutorials to show you what you can do with some of the new features and the enhancements in PowerDirector 20, PowerDirector 365.